Okay, so this is our second video on, on um, equations of tangents and normals. Um, and I just wanted to separate these two out because I just wanted you to look at how to find an equation of a tangent or normal and go and do some practice on that before you then come back to some of these more complicated examples um, that you'll see in the textbook exercise which I'm going to set um, at the end of this video. So um, example one, we're just going to work through three examples here. Find the coordinates of the point at which the tangent to the curve y equals 2x squared minus 10x is parallel to the line, um, sorry that's broken over the line there, um, parallel to um, y equals 2x plus 5. Hence find the equation of this tangent. I would strongly encourage you, a lot of students get themselves in a real knot with what am I substituting into what, what's happening here by not thinking clearly about what they're doing. Okay, so this is a quadratic. I don't need to draw a precise graph. I could just, you know, play around with a parabola. Um, I can see if I factorise this, it's um, 2x times x minus 5. So it's clearly got an x-intercept at 0 and 1 at 5. Okay, so essentially you've got, you've got a parabola. Okay, that's that. And you want to find um, the coordinates of the point where the tangent, um, put the coordinates of the point at which the tangent is parallel to the line 2x plus 5. Okay, so y equals 2x plus 5 is going to look something like this up here. So it's not saying that 2x plus 5 is a tangent to the curve. Okay, what we instead want is to find the coordinates of the point at which the tangent is parallel to the line. So there's going to be a point on my parabola where the tangent is parallel to the line 2x plus 5. Now we, th we know that the line 2x plus 5 has a gradient of 2. We know that parallel lines also have a gradient of 2. And so what we want to find is the coordinates of the point where the gradient is equal to 2. Okay, so let's find the derivative of the parabola. So dy dx is going to be 4x minus 10 and we want the gradient, to, we want to know where is the gradient of the parabola equal to 2. So we make it equal to 2, so that means 4x equals 12 and x equals 3. So that's now telling us that this point here has an x coordinate of 3 and then we want to find the y coordinate of that point. So we don't sub back into the derivative, we don't sub into this equation because that's, that's that, I'll do a different colour, that's that purple line right up here. Okay, that's not what we're interested in. We want to substitute back into the original function. So back into the parabola. So y is going to be 2 times 3 squared minus 10 times 3. So that is 2 times 9, which is 18 minus 30. So that's negative 12. Okay, so obviously my graph's not very well drawn to scale. We've got a y coordinate of negative 12 there, so that's okay. Um, and so we've now got, find the coordinates of the point at which the tangent to the curve is parallel to the line, okay? So therefore the point is 3, negative 12, okay? So that's where the tangent is parallel to the line 2x plus 5, hence where the tangent has a gradient of 2, hence where the curve has a gradient of 2. And then the question is to hence find the equation of this tangent. So we now already know the gradient of the tangent is 2, and the point is 3, negative 12, and so we can find the equation of the tangent. Sorry, I'm running out of space here. should have drawn a smaller diagram. It's y minus the y coordinate of the point, which is negative 12, so y plus 12 equals my gradient, which is 2 times x minus 3. So that's y plus 12 equals 2x minus 6, and so y equals 2x minus 18. And so there's the equation of the tangent goes through the point 3, negative 12, um, and it has a gradient of 2. Okay, example 2, but I guess my real message is don't be afraid to draw a diagram, have a look at what's happening, have a think about what you're trying to do. Find the coordinates of the point of intersection between the normals to the curve y equals 2x squared minus 10x plus 12 at the points where it cuts the x-axis. Okay, so we have got some sort of parabola here and it cuts the x-axis because it, we want to know um, the normals at the points where it cuts the x-axis. Okay, so we're going to have two points where it cuts the x-axis and so we're going to want to find the equation of the normal to that one at that point and the equation of the normal at that point 
and then we want to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of those two normals so that is ultimately what we're trying to find up there okay so you've really got to break down what it's saying to you find the coordinates of the point of intersection between the normals so we're going to find the point of intersection between two normals okay what where are the norm what are, what are the normals you know to what curve and at what points so they're normals to a parabola at the points where that parabola cuts the x-axis so you're going to, going to need to first find the x-intercepts of the parabola so that you can then find the equations of the normals and so that you can then find where those normals intersect okay so we're going to need to find the x-intercepts of the parabola first so that is 2x squared minus 10x plus 12 equals 0 first step of factorization look for common factors it's a common factor of 2 let's divide both sides by 2 factorizing factors of positive 6 add up to negative 5 x minus 2 x minus 3 and so it's x equals 2 or x equals 3 okay so this is the point 3 0 this is the point 2 0 okay so we're going to need to find equations of the normals so that means we're going to need gradient okay so let's find dy dx that's going to be 4x minus 10 okay and we want to know the gradient um, right over here I'm out of room when x is equal to 2 dy dx is equal to uh, 4 times 2 minus 10 so it's 8 minus 10 which is negative 2 okay so that is the gradient of the tangent at x at the point um, 2 0 so this means that the gradient of the normal at that point is going to be positive 1 half okay we then want to know when x is equal to 3 what is the derivative equal to? It's going to be equal to 4 times 3 minus 10, 12 minus 10, which is positive 2. And so therefore, the gradient of the normal is going to be equal to negative 1 half. Now, it sort of makes sense that these are negative, um, just the negative of each other. The parabola is symmetric. So if you've got a gradient of negative 2 here, you're going to have a gradient of positive 2 here. Okay, so that makes sense. So we've got our two gradients. Um, we can then calculate the equation of the normal. So we've got our um, point is 2, 0, and our gradient is positive a half. So it's y minus 0 equals half times x minus 2, and so that is just y equals half x minus 1. Okay, and this one equation of the normal is going to be y minus. Um, the y coordinate is 0 again, negative 1 half uh, x minus 3, and so y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 on 2. Okay, so then finally we want the point of intersection between those two normals. Okay, so we want point of intersection. Okay, so that is when half x minus 1 is equal to negative half x plus 3 on 2. So I'm going to add half x, which gives me 1x on the left-hand side, and I'm going to add 1, which gives me 5 on 2. So that is the x-coordinate of the point of intersection. And then to find the y-coordinate, now again, this is where if you haven't got a diagram, you're not thinking clearly, and you might sub that back in up here, but that would be finding this point down here, which is not what we want. We want to find where the lines intersect, so we want to go back into one of these two equations. Okay. All right, and so that means that y is going to be 1 half, I'm going into the left hand equation, 1 half times 5 on 2 minus 1, which is 5 on 4 minus 1, which is a quarter. And so therefore the point of intersection is 5 on 2, 1 quarter. Now, if you'd thought a bit logically about what was happening here, um, you could have avoided some of that working out. So if when you'd drawn your diagram, you would have realized that the only the normals are going to intersect on the axis of symmetry. Okay, so if instead we've fo we'd focused on the axis of symmetry, which is halfway between the x coordinates, 5 on 2, we could have had the x coordinate of the point where they intersect. And then we could have just found one equation of the normal rather than both of them and subbed 5 on 2 into that equation of the normal. Okay. So again, drawing a diagram can help you to take some shortcuts, can help you to see what's happening so that you don't need to do as much calculation. 
okay? We talk about sort of brute force methods with maths where we just launch into doing all the algebra and, and, and things. Whereas if we stop and think about what's happening, we might be able to find a more elegant way to the solution, which in this case would have been avoiding doing one of the um, normals, simply finding one of them and subbing five on two straight in there, okay? Okay, and example three. For a curve with the equation y equals 5 minus x cubed, show that this is the equation of the tangent when x equals a. Hence, find the coordinates of the two points on the curve, the tangents of which pass through the point 2, 5. Okay, so let's have a think about what's happening here again. So we've got a negative cubic up by 5. So we've got a graph that is doing this. Okay. The first part of the question just asks us to find a generic um, tangent equation. So we're just going to take some point on the curve with an x-coordinate of a. Um, the y-coordinate would obviously be 5 minus a cubed because the equation of the line is 5 minus x, square, x cubed. Okay. So we've got our point um, and we want to find the equation of the tangent. We'll come back to the second part of the question in a minute. So um, we've got the point is a 5 minus a cubed. We need the gradient at that point a. So we know dy dx is um, negative 3x squared. And so we know when x equals a, dy dx equals negative 3a squared. So that's the gradient of the tangent and we want an equation of the tangent. So we've got our gradient and our point. So we've got point, gradient, okay? So we're gonna go with y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 to find the equation of our tangent. So gradient, point, okay, so it's y minus, now be careful when the y coordinate has more than one term. We need to subtract all of five minus a cubed, so brackets around that equals your gradient, which is negative 3a squared times x minus a. Okay, so let's again expand, um, get y on its own and hope that it equals what we're trying to show. So remember, show that. I haven't gone anywhere near what I'm trying to show. The question is essentially asking me to find the equation of the tangent when x equals a. Hint, the answer should look like what's highlighted in yellow up there. So we simply go about finding the equation um, of the tangent and then um, hope that we're able to show that it looks like what's up there. So expanding out the bracket here on the left, we're going to have minus 5 and plus a cubed. On the right-hand side, we get negative 3a squared x plus 3a cubed. And then we're going to um, add, negative, add 5 and subtract a cubed. So we get minus 3a squared x plus 3a cubed uh, plus 5 and minus a cubed. Those a cubed will collect together. So that is plus 2a cubed and plus 5, which indeed matches what we had up there. So now what we've got is a generic way to describe the tangent. So this is a tangent at any point. So now if I wanted to know the tangent when x equals 1, I would sub a equals 1 into this equation, and there's the tangent when a equals 1. Okay. So we've now got this generic equation for the tangent. So let's have a look at the next part of the question. Hence, so using the tangent you've just found, or if you couldn't find it, using the one that you've been given in the question, that's why it's to show that. Find the coordinates of the two points on the curve, the tangents of which pass through the point 2, 5. Okay, so remember this is 0, 5. So we've got the point 2, 5 is going to be kind of somewhere here, for example. So we want to find the equation of the tangents, so it's saying there's more than one tangent that passes through that point. So there will be a tangent somewhere down here, for example, that goes through that 2.25. So we want to find the equation, um, we want to find the coordinates of that point. But there'll also be another one. And in fact, if we think a bit logically, we actually already know what the other one is because it's got the same y coordinate as the point of inflection, and the tangent at the point of inflection will be a horizontal line. So we also know that there's going to be that one. So we're going to want to find that point which we know is 0, 5. Okay, so essentially we're interested in making sure that the tangent passes through the point 2, 5. Tangent passes 
through the 0.25, which means that we can take the 0.25 and sub it into the equation for the tangent. So when x equals 2, y has to equal 5, and then we can solve for a, which is going to allow us to work out the coordinates of the points on the curve. Because remember, that's exactly what a is. This is the tangent when x equals a. So if we work out a, that gives us the x coordinate of the point where the tangent intersects with the curve. So we're subbing this point in. So y is equal to 5 when x is equal to 2. And then we should be able to solve this for a. So let's tidy things up. So we can subtract 5 from both sides and we've got 0. This is negative 6a, um, so yeah, negative 6a squared plus 2a cubed. Okay. Um, so might factor out common factor of 2a squared. So that's negative 3 plus a. And so we find that a equals 0 or a equals 3. Okay. So we knew a equals 0. That's this point, okay? Um, and a equals three will be this other point, wherever it is. Okay, it looks it looks like it's on the x-axis there, but it might not be. Okay, so this means that um, we've got our point is a five minus a cubed. Okay, so the point, oh, sorry. So the point um, is going to be a. 5, sorry, so that's 0, 5 minus 0 cubed, so that is the point 0, 5, and the other point is 3, 5 minus 3 cubed, 3 cubed is 27, 5 minus 27 is negative 22, so it's 3, negative 22. Okay, so my graph isn't really to scale, but it gives me a sense of what's happening. So if I find the, the tangent at the point 3, negative 22, that tangent will go through the point 2, 5, um, and similarly, the tangent at the point 0, 5, that tangent will go through the point 2, 5. Okay. If I wanted to find the equations of the tangents at those two points, I would be taking the a value and putting it into the equation of the tangent. So, for example, the equation of that tangent will be y equals negative uh, 3 times 3 squared x plus 2 times 3 cubed plus 5. So that will be negative 27x um, plus, what's that, 27, 54, plus 59. That would be the equation of the tangent at 3, negative 22. Um, similarly, I could do the same. We actually know that this will be um, y equals 5 when we sub 0 into that equation for the tangent. Okay, so I cannot stress enough the importance of draw a diagram. What's happening? What are you trying to find? Because there's going to be a number of steps to these. You'll need to first find a point. You'll need to find where the curve is parallel to something else. Then use that point to find a tangent. Then do something with that. Okay. So there's a number of steps here. Draw a diagram and be really clear about what it is that you're actually trying to find. So the work today is from exercise 18A.